Hey everyone, it's Charlie here from the Layout Lab. Welcome back to episode four of this floor plan build. So last time we finalised the couple of rooms down the side here and we've got a few last little bits to do here. So today's episode, we're going to start working on making sure we can get this entranceway sorted out here. We can start planning out the kitchen and maybe putting a bit of a chamfer in here across the audio visual room. I'm going to tidy up a few bits and bobs and hopefully we can start actually laying out the kitchen I might jump into episode five, but let's see how we get on. So if we zoom in a little bit down here on bedroom one, what we need to do is work out this dimension here. So it's saying 2072 from the corner down. Now, I'm saying that's about a 45 degree angle, but let's see. I think the best way to do is if we just jump straight in, jump on a wall point, snap it to here. Now, this is where it gets a bit difficult. So if we go to 702, we're talking like all the way down here, even more there. Now to me, if we escape that and shift F, it's far too steep. So again, what I'm going to do is just work on trying to 45 degree it straight across. It's probably going to be the easiest way. Let's go let's set the angle to 45 degrees. I think actually what we need to do is make it 135. Yeah, of course, that's fixed across there now. So we fix it across into here at that angle. And then delete that. Zone this into bedroom one. So this now becomes bedroom one in here. And yep, shift F. Okay. That looks a little bit better, I think. It looks roughly to the same. So if we now delete this, what we're going to do here, though, is they've got a bit of an angle across. So what we're going to try and do is just put a little bit of an angle in. So we'll see how it looks. It might look a little bit awkward, but we'll try. If we wall, what's happened here? Okay. No idea what's happened there. What's going okay? So if we wall from let's say no nope, put a wall in from here to here for now. But I think what we need to do is we need to bring this one out, shut for a bit wider, probably to about a meter wide. Yeah, okay. So then let's see if we can reduce these walls down now. It's where it gets a little bit difficult. So if we snap that to there, this bit needs to be more here. And then if we bring that bit up to about a meter, and then we drag this one in, we need to is make this thickness the same so this is 150 thick wall so let's bring that down to 100 might help this a little bit easier so if we bring that on a top angle that should snap along that line there okay so we're getting somewhere now so if we bring this in then this one needs to also go on the same that way around this time though we snap it to there and drag it out to about there. How does that look? I need to figure out what's happened here. Bear with me two seconds whilst I figure this out and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I don't really know what happened there, but we've uh, managed to tidy it up a little bit more anyway. So let's resume back into here and let's see if we can figure this out. So the external wall is 200. These are, ah, that needs to be 100 as well. That's why. Let's go in a little bit more. I'm just going to zoom in one more just to get this nice and tidy because of the angle gets a little bit difficult. So if we bump that in to there, what we want to do is we want to try and get these two to meet there. However, it looks a little bit better. I wonder if we uh, bring this a little bit higher up. To there cool shift f it that looks better so i've added that zone in now 
but just by dropping in the zone, this is the audio visual room again. So let's type it in there. Audio visual. Cool. Okay. So that is the floor plan pretty much outlined. I'd suggest we can start by dropping in some doors next. We can start. Ah, that's one thing we didn't do actually is in here. They've got another bit of wall that runs from this point that way at 135. Let's say, I think it was a meter, that's no, 700. So, no. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete that. We're going to put in 700 at least. And we're going to marry that to roughly. It's quite hard to tell actually. I'm going to say about there, roughly, give or take. Bring this back down to 100. Hard to tell, but I think if I uh, bring it out there, it's about right. It doesn't look right there. It looks a little bit odd. I'm not sure I, I'd, I'd keep that. In fact, I'm not. I'm going to get rid of it. So, what's next? Um, pantry. So the way I'm going to do the pantry here. And if we zoom in, shift across, 600 across, 941 down. And I think that's just going to be the best way I'm going to do it. Because I don't really want it to be um, that but sick. It's not very big. So let's see how we go. If we draw that in now, and if we delete this zone temporarily, zone of wall that is 600. Yeah, look, this is where it gets a little bit. Ah, no, sorry, that's why. What was it? 941. If we delete that, and we go 941 by 600, it's going to be a tiny, tiny pantry. So we need to make this a little bit bigger, a bit more. Realistic, so I reckon we can probably double that if we lock this and put that at 1200. I think that's going to be a little bit better, although it's still going to be pretty small, I think. But we've got to have a door in here to get into the garage, and it fits in with that then pretty much identically. So if we can run this now to the end of here, and then we wall up from there to there, that is perfect. Okay, centralize the text just to be sure, roughly. So that's the pantry added in. Don't think this chamfer here is going to be, it just, just causes more work. Same down here, just doesn't look good. But let's see. If we zone this back in here, then let's call this main area for now. Cool. OK, so the next thing we can do is we can start by adding doors. So on Rayon, if you drop up to the block section up here and you can jump into their libraries, you can add doors. They're pre-built doors and pre-sized doors. I think a decent sized door is about. It's pretty much that bang on, I would suggest. And I think actually. We're going to go with that. So what we can do here is you can start by dragging them into the floor plan and they snap in along the lines. So it's really, really easy now to add these doors in. Now we can just drag another one in, bring it into the image over here. We want it about there according to the image, but we want it flipped the other way. That's right. And then we need another one for the ensuite. Pretty much in the middle, according to that. And then another one for this activity room over here. Let me flip that in. 
flip it again this side so it's on the inside as it is on the picture so um oh we haven't done the built-in wardrobe yet for this but we'll do that shortly i'm adding some furniture we might just add a freestanding wardrobe in there just to show you how that works right why are you not snapping there you are and i want you into the room but the opposite way Okay, so then laundry here on this wall into the room. Probably pull it down ever so slightly. And then we're going to have another one into the wardrobe. And that is set outwards. So that's like that. WC is going to have its own. flip it across main bathroom wrong wall put you there pretty much oh, it's in the top because of the shower so it goes into the room that way bedroom into the room that's correct we've got to nudge it across a little bit because too close to the wall Main bedroom here. I'm just going to zoom in on this one because it's a little bit tight. Don't know if this one's going to really fit. It might be a bit of an arrow door, but no, nope, it does just. You can see these are where the door will fit into. So that's fine. So which way is the door in? Oh, click the wrong button. So it needs to be into the room. Perfect. And then where else have we got a door? We've got a door into the pantry. Let's put you up here. But we're going to do you on the outside. Opposite way round. And then there's going to be another door into the garage. Back up there. Give or take. Yeah, that's perfect. Door, door, door. Which so that's open plan. That's got a door. That's got a door. Main door. 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 Yeah. Cool. So that's doors done. Perfect. So what I just wanted to check now, because of the pantry, is if we zoom in on this and just see the dimensions between there and there. Oh, it's one and a half meters, pretty much. So that's, it looks quite narrow, but it's um, it's a good amount of room. Okay. So next we're going to start working on probably putting a window in each room. Let's do that now and we'll let's go for a decent size window to start with because we can always size it down. Perfect. So we're going to drop them all on these back walls up here where roughly give or take where they are on the plan. Yep. One in there, uncentralized on this bedroom wall. Uncentralized on the back of here. Bathroom. A little bit narrow on that one. So let's say this might be a 1200 window. Perfect. We're going to then drag another one into the downstairs loo, but this is going to be a tiny one. So this is going to be a 750. Just to sit, to give a bit of light in there. Yep. Laundry can have a nice big window. Be a little bit too wide for that, so we'll go for 1200 on one of them again. Bedroom two. Big, big window. Activity room, nice big window two. Master bathroom, this is going to be 1200 as well. Centralizing that. And get a big, big window on here. So what we can do now is we can make this wider. So 2,100 is probably going to be about right for this. Centralize it, give or take. About there. And then where have we got? Garage doors here. So we'll put the garage doors in separately later. Got an extremely large window in the kitchen. 
so that's that it's 3040 they've got for that so that's probably going to be multiple windows that's going to sit across there but it's that another large window in the games room over here we're going to make that one of 2100 as well perfect so we're pretty much there now for the outline of the house got the doors in got the rooms in got the windows in we'll sort the garage out in fact the way i do garage doors i'll quickly show you because we don't actually have a garage door on here garbage truck if you want one i tend to show them as um where are they Are they called open ins on here? Wall open in, yeah. Okay. So that's this. And then basically, what I tend to show is drag them on out here and it just snaps to the wall. So eight foot wide. What's that in mil? Roughly one foot is 30 to 40. So double that. That's one garage door there, roughly. And then we can copy and paste that door to this side. So there's your two garage door entrances. Awesome. OK, so that's everything for episode four, everyone. Join us back shortly for episode five, where we're going to start placing a little bit of um, furniture in some of these rooms. And I'll show you how that works. And we're going to color the rooms as well to make it easy to distinguish between them. We'll get this kitchen area set up. We'll get some of the, the en suites in and rough area for beds, etc., to make it nice and easy. Thanks again for joining. Don't forget to give us a like, follow, and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Any comments down below, I do tend to respond to every single one of them. So please jump into the comments and let us know what your thoughts are. And if you ever like your floor plan sketches turned into a digital floor plan, please do drop a message in the, uh, in the comments and I'll reach out to you via DM as well. Thank you.